Check it out, what we got. Ooh. Well, this week we have only two days to be with you. It is today and tomorrow. Then we'll go for Yatra to India and come back if God willing. Then we'll meet again. Then by that time, new season. New life. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, what is this? <coughs> oh, she has to see me. Oh, Hanuman. Well, 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 well. That is pretty good. Then what is in that? Her uh, card is fine. Cookies will be served for Guru Prasad Kaur's birthday. So I mean, you are not going to go without that. So see. Jesus Christ. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And take it all out. Where you got this stuff? You mean I'm supposed to wear this? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Once you wear it, everybody will run away. <laughs> Majority of the people get diseased and dismissed. That's the rule of the health. Because death holds life, and slowly and gradually. Death becomes stronger, health becomes weaker, and person leaves. Basically, person doesn't want to die. As a mental faculty, nobody wants to die. Uh, life is, in spite of all its pain and tragedy, is very beautiful. It, it is an admitted fact. It's not something. But you ask anybody, they are miserable, they are complaining. It's a very funny thing. In your life, there are certain things do not work. Still, you do the same thing again and again. Majority of the things you know they are wrong, still you do again and again. Most of the time, you are supposed not to be judged. You judge everybody. You are not supposed to be depressed. You are depressed all the time. Why all that? Because b mind is equally projective and mind is equally rejectively digressive. Regression and aggression are two parts of the mind which are just parallel. That's the biggest human faculty, and nobody talks about mind. If you go to a psychiatrist, he finds your situation, he'll give you upper and downer, you're finished. That's medicine. If you go to a psychologist, <clears throat> they will be suggestive. They cannot put your head in the nutcracker and turn it around. There's no way. And in old days when people get stuck mentally, they used to chain them and brand them as mental and mental life is finished. Human mind has capacity because aggression is the part of mind and regression is the part of the same mind. <clears throat> There's nothing anybody can help anybody except a person has to clean his house every day, he has to meditate every day. Every person has to do it. But we don't have time for it. We, we think it's a, it's a subjection. Oh, I can... I was talking to somebody, I said, please do this, and the person said, Oh, 
31 minutes. When? I don't have even three minutes. I said, well, it will take about two, three months. You will be in a mental hospital, then we'll talk. I said, what I can, <laughs> what I can say to people like that? I have no idea. Mind is not, your mind is your property. It is not anybody's affair. And your mind can take you to God and your mind can take you to hell and your mind can hang you in between. But whatever your mind does is not true. That's the tragedy of it. Even your mind takes you to God is not true, it takes you to hell is not true. Because it's a force. It is not creative without the intention of the intelligence. Buddhi, buddhi is the intelligence. Mind is soch. Soch is not what intelligence is. So you can, you can vibrate with mind, but that does not mean that you will be having any touch with the reality. For example, when you are young, we have a lot of passion. When you are old, if we do not have equal wisdom, we'll be very handicapped. Old age without wisdom and youth without passion doesn't work. So t tonight I would like to put you through a mental trance to see how weird you are inside. Then we'll reverse it for a few minutes and we'll get out. Rest of the job will finish tomorrow. So we are today and tomorrow we can do it. And that will carry you through a couple weeks. Because time has come. On one side, the new age, or uh, the Aquarius energy is coming, and Ju Jupiter and uh, Pluto and all these heavens are gone berserk. Plus, humans are gone berserk. So in, in between four or five faculties, uh, you are all cooked. Plus, this summer, Earth will start showing signs which will be very abnormal. So, I mean, it is all coming to understanding. So, see what we can do tonight. My idea is, please lean on your right hand and this elbow hold the cheekbone and your half of your forehead is covered and this my posture is almost accurate and close your eyes and try to relax your one hand has to be on the other side of the knee it's a very postural pose it's a body language it has nothing to do for rich and poor it applies the same way and try to relax and find it out how weird you are you can't relax now this is a relaxed pose according to body language. It must relax you in seconds. Let us see how much time you take to relax. I mean it's a simple question, a simple answer. Just relax. And forget who you are and what are you doing and where are you. Just relax. Simple question and simple answer is the most convenient relaxing pose. Reclining Buddha is different. Relaxing Buddha is exactly in this pose. That posture is known for centuries. You have a lullaby tape, put that on to help your thoughts. We play this lullaby tape, we normally play for children.
on liver will make little disturbance please don't worry let the body rest to it
kindly feel how you feel. You had not done anything special, it was just a very normal posture. And you just relax and you did it only eleven minutes. Do you have eleven minutes in your life? Do nothing, just nothing. Just stick it like this. Nobody had a land on his in life. <coughs> all this tension and all this, what they call a stress, <coughs> you can get out of it in eleven minutes. It's a practice. It's not that you have to, you know, you have tried, you put your shoes and hung upside down, and you guys do everything to get rid of stress. Is that true? If you take 30 minutes, one breath a minute, 20 seconds in, 20 seconds hold and 20 seconds out, and you'd give 11 minutes of this rest, or Shavasana, you lie down and let the body go for 11 minutes. You don't need trouble. Your sensory system will come to a common sense and you shall win. It's such a beautiful faculty. When you are physically tired, it's called cold tiredness. That is where your mind becomes stronger and you become weaker. And you have inhibition to the social life. Though you are a social animal, you have inhibition to the sex. You, you are a byproduct of a sex. And this has been done to control you by religious taboos. So by religious taboo, you break the taboo, you go the worst, then you live in guilt and all that. And when you don't break the taboo, you live like a cold fish. So in between, you are not happy. So it is so terrible, this sexual drive, that you are always on a sale. So therefore, you don't have any self-respect, self-esteem, and self-achievement. It's such a crazy word as it is. And the whole social structure is made that way, to make a person to go through a sexual sale. And sale is 25% off, 50% off, 75% off. Tell a woman of 45 years, she said the whole world has gone from her. Actually, life starts at 60. At 64, your life starts. That is where you have to live by wisdom and nothing else. Life starts at 22. Then you want to live with grace. 25, you are a student. You are learning. 25 to 50 year old, these 25 years of life is called Grishtashram. You live by honor. 25 to 50 is 25 years. First 25 years of your life, you are a student, a charya. You have to learn, you have to educate yourself. And 50 to 75, you actually live by wisdom. It's called sannyasa. You live unattached, but you live by the strength of wisdom. That's what life is all about. Life is not how many rooms you have got, how many bedrooms you have got in house, and you do not know how to sleep. 
how much money you have got and you live like a rat how many women you can see and you are miserable every minute everybody out there to bitch you how many men you control and you do not know which way somebody is to cut your throat that's not life one day i was testing it out to somebody said oh still 20 people wants to marry me i said wow hmm. quite a sale talk and the honor there's no honor you judge by how many people want to sleep with you how many people want you how many friends you have got this is a kind of standard not by the standard how much you know your soul how much integrity you have got how much grace you have got how much character you have and how men how much you are yourself hey, this is not your standard so you are a mammal with no territory you are a human you are not a human you don't fit in into any category that's why we are all miserable we are all poor and things happen this is situation you have to know i was just uh, at my jeweler shop i said well, jerry i want to have a watch i want to go to india a watch which i lose i should not worry about it was a simple statement it was not something and then he went in and he brought me this watch i am wearing he said here is the watch I don't want to tell you the price of it what I paid is just to char panchoka vi 1/8th of its original price so actually it's a nominal price but it was tight my wrist is bigger watch was smaller and with this kind of watch you can fool around so he says sir this is it now what you I said well I just started chanting this chant I'm chanting these days राम रे राम रे राम रे तेरे काहू चुकाऊ मैं दाम रे तू करता मेरे सब काम रे सुबह करता है शाम रे ओ गाड 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 हाउ कैन आई पे यू बैक यू डू माई ऑल माई वर्क यू डू इट इन द मॉर्निंग इन द इवनिंग सो से ओके यू गिव मी द वॉच विल फाइंड इट वी टेल इफ इन न्यू यॉर्क दिस इज वेल विल चार्ज यू सेवेंटी फाइव डॉलर फॉर लिंक एंड विल डिलीवर यू आफ्टर सिक्स वीक्स and we try to tell them any special did we say forget it there is no such thing and they hung up so finally we came to this uh, watchmaker of our, this feltmore and we called him and he knows us and he said come on come on we'll do it and he just did it he had it fixed it said thank you very much for visiting me then we felt obligated we bought a purse which was very very highly costly purse for very very cheap price and we had a fun so sometimes you look for things sometimes things look for you that part you forget if you have a meditated mind then you must understand there are millions of things which are looking for you they don't find you at home <laughs> alice doesn't live here anymore that is your problem of life you are never you and it's not that it is you it is with the poorest person and richest person this is my experience in 63 years I tell you i have visited men of religion and men known which you do not know I have met a mufti of mufti of Egypt. I have met a mufti of Baghdad. I have met uh, Imam of whole Turkestan, and I have met people which you can meet. They have the same problem, but you have. That's why I feel very content and happy and special. You are never at home. that is why majority of the things do not find you 
And sometimes things are in your neighborhood and you're calling New York. That can be the main problem of life. Every young girl who wants to find a husband, if just can wait and sit, husband shall come, if it is so written. A right husband will come. By going in at the Melrose at night, you are not going to find husband. You are going to get done free. That's what you are going to get done. And if you are interested in only couple of our husband, go ahead. How many you can have? And same way, you are not going to find a wife by going to singles club. I was reading in Los Angeles Times that way. Good girls do not go to single club. Call Lenana and somebody, you know, she has fixed everybody in the world. You know, this is a new age. People have started realizing the bull won't work. People are getting wiser. They are trying to understand. The young man was telling me he had every disease in the world. I said, well, how do you feel now? He said, perfectly healthy. Better than you. Thank you. I said, what for? He said, I now only eat steamed veggie paper because you said so. I said, okay, I'll try myself. He eats nothing. He takes all kind of vegetables, put in a pressure cooker, steam them, eat them. And the water which has come out, he drinks that, period. And he's fine. You have to learn. You do the same thing what your parents did to you. Parents did you as a child to cover your security. You couldn't become your security. Now when you are yourself, you cover your ego, you couldn't become it. You will suffer. There's nothing I can do, but I know why you suffer. If you stop, if your parents would have stopped covering you and would have asked you to walk on your own feet, and now when you are adult, you start walking on your feet again, and not by your ego, you would have a lot of amigos. You would have a lot of friendship. You would have a lot of happiness. Now all of you sitting here, try to talk to yourself. Nobody trusts anybody. And nobody's going to say, I don't trust you. Everybody say, I don't trust you. I have seen people they say, yes, yes, yes. And after a while, they say, I am sorry. I saw the eagle flying over my head. Therefore, I now I am thinking I can't do it. They will make a, such a ridiculous excuse. You will never find it worthy of it. Why? Because you are not at home. You are listening and you are not listening. You can do, you don't want to do. You are ready, but you are not ready. You have entangled yourself in your own cowweb so badly that you can come out of it. It's called habit. You are habitually insecure. And a person who is habitually insecure has no trust with God. Trust, a person who trusts God cannot be insecure. Because you go in a hotel, you know there will be a room. You know there will be food. You are very sure about it. You have come to planet Earth. Planet Earth is nothing more than a hotel or a motel. Just it is five-star hotel. Some are living in a five-star hotel and they are miserable. Some are living with no-star hotel, they are miserable. I was talking to somebody. I said, learn street like a Mexican. He said, what, how they sleep? I said, put their head down and they're gone. They always all sleep sitting. There's so much poverty in that land 
that is normally you see real Ma- Mexican working in the field, they have that big hat and they just put it down and that's their bedroom. And there they go. Somebody wake them up, yeah, and here they are working. Here, you have a king-size bed with all the mattresses and the silk, and you curl like a frying pan fish. And then you have to take a sleeping pill to sleep. Now, who is the king? That Mexican with that hat down, or you who doesn't know how to sleep? I learned in my life, there was a ruler of a state in India, a prince, he used to be my friend, he used to come home. Come on, let's go out. He'll order 30 things, feed everybody. Himself, he only could eat a steam cauliflower, that's it. And I used to practically laugh at him. He said, well, I see people eating, I enjoy it, I know I can eat. He was allergic to everything. His stomach won't accept it. It's not that he didn't have wealth or he didn't want to eat, but it was such an unfortunate thing, he couldn't do it any further. You have life, but you cannot live. You live, but you cannot experience. You can experience, you don't enjoy, because you don't trust yourself. There's so much tension that you normally live a very numb life. I show you how much numb you are, and then I'll let you go, okay? Cross this finger, this, you, over this center finger, and press these two fingers, please, and put it there. The Saturn finger should go over the sun finger. You see this? Cross, this is a crossing the energy. These are two teachers. On the left horizon, when we cross, right horizon becomes numb. It's a very simple thing to do. Normally, yogis do it when they want to get out of the whole world pressure, and they just sustain when they say, these two fingers you lock under your egg, and that's it, simple. And this is your Jupiter finger. Just move it and close your eyes. Close your eyes and go. Now the movement at this time in your body is Jupiter. Jupiter, the planet of wisdom. It gives you prosperity and expansion. At this time in your body, you're moving that energy, and we have put that Angasang Vaiguru mantra so that you can feel comfortable. That means 30 trillion gods are dancing around me. That's exactly, literally, scientifically, that mantra means. Don't look around and be the owl that open your eyes, see the bird is coming. Nothing is coming. Sit down in a very good posture, close your eyes, and just concentrate on that finger alone.
finger moving and contract the body holding the breath exhale keep the finger moving inhale again keep the finger moving and please squeeze the entire body let it go This is your last chance to do it right. Inhale deep. Deep. Deep deep. Hold it. Move the finger as fast as you can and squeeze the body from every fiber to every fiber as you can. Make the last attempt really hard. Let it go and please relax. Ladies and gentlemen, if you really want to know the truth, we have done total workshop for 22 minutes. It was 11 minute each. And now assess it the moment we started as we are how we feel. It's not a gimmick. It's this that's why I like this science. That's why I learned it. It is something you can do it on spot. and now to get rid of the whole stress just do it like this this area from here to here push i'm not telling you to go into a room and take lot of cleanings <laughs> and scream and call a scream therapy pay 650 bucks I'm just telling you to do simple things to give your body a simple strength. Get rid of stuff so you can live. Majority of the time you're not alive, you're just robots. <coughs> Let it go. Get it out. We don't need this damn thing. Get it out. You don't need garbage in the house. You put it outside the road so they can pick it up. Let it go. Come on, come on, brave people. Come on, come on! There's a minute and a half more. Do it, do it hard now. Push really hard. If a bad person enters the house, you first request him, then argue, and then you take up the bat and just get it out. Well, that's what minute and a half is for. Come on, push it out. Ooh, you have one more minute, folks. If this guy is going to remain here, it's going to make you sick. Get it out. Thirty seconds. Out, 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 out. Pull it out. Where you can go and learn this kind of class, huh? Come on, fifteen seconds. Hurry up, get it out. 
get it out, get it out. And inhale deep and relax. Feel good? You're okay? May the long times all love surround you and the pure life within you guide you. Blessed is the soul which keeps the body alive and keeps the mind towards God. Blessed is the self which gives us the purity and piety and the power to give to help those who are unfortunate to add to our own fortune. Blessed are those who live in peace and live in their honor and honor others as they are, and help and serve to improve the plight of others. Such souls are the blessed, beautiful, bright, and bountiful Satna. May the long time before that happy birthday Thank you, Satnam. Now the cookies are being served. Enjoy, have your fun. <coughs> and slowly slip away to the home. <laughs>